Hey folks, it is Tuesday, February 1st, and here's what we're doing today. It is Writing Studio Day. So the first thing that I want you to do is watch the video where I talk about how to engage with the Writing Studio sample paper, and then you are going to read the Writing Studio draft. Remember that there are three parts to the Writing Studio, and I want you to read all three of those parts. Um, take your time to read it carefully because that's all we're doing today. And then we're going to head over to Pop Literacy Channel 3. And then you are going to write a three to five sentence post where you are reflecting on one very specific thing from the writing studio sample that you read that you learned about providing quality feedback to your peers, like a very specific comment. You're like, hey, this person said this and I would have never thought that. And it was like super helpful. And then the same thing about revisions, like something that you noticed that the writer revised based on those comments that you thought was super successful. So that is what I mean. Really get specific there. Don't just phone that in because we're trying to learn how to recognize how to revise things and also how to give quality feedback instead of like, this is nice, right? Um, and then what you're going to do next is just familiarize yourself with the uh, assignment one peer review form. And that should be fairly easy because y'all already read through the peer review form for the writing studio. But do remember that when you eventually submit, um, upload your uh, rough draft for assignment one, you want to copy and paste the um, rough draft to the bottom of your paper so that your peers can type their comments in there. Okay. And then I do want you to also learn about our peer review workflow. Um, so go ahead and just watch this video where I talk about uh, what uh, we're going to be doing um, in terms of peer review. All right. Um, and then I will eventually stick y'all into groups. So by the time that you look at this, you're, you will see your names and your peer review groups. And if you cannot find yourself, please go ahead and either DM me on Slack or text me. Okay. Um, please though, if you're texting me, just text me during class. Don't text me outside of class unless there's like a super duper emergency, right? Um, cause I always have Slack on and I'm really good at answering that. So for homework, you are going to return, return to the assignment one handout and you are going to complete step three, which is basically taking those two rough drafts that you've completed in step one and step two, reading them, combining them into not combining them, like literally but being like, okay, I've got good ideas here. How can I write a draft that combines these ideas, right? So you're not just like actually adding them into the same paper, right? You're massaging things. Um, most people just like rewrite, like, taking the ideas from the first two steps and being like, okay, I've got ideas. I know what to do here. I know what to, I know what to add to this. I know how to complete my rough draft. So you're going to complete your rough draft for assignment one, make sure you paste the peer review form to the bottom of your paper when you're done. And then you are going to upload your uh, paper to, or just copy and paste your paper into your peer reviews group folder. Do make sure when you do that, that you adjust the sharing permissions so that your peers have the ability to not just comment, but edit your paper because they're going to be able to need to do that to like type their comments on your, on the, the draft of the paper in the peer review. Okay. Uh, there's a video to show you how to do that. Um, in case you don't already know, Make sure once you get your paper in your group folder that you use some sort of label. So here's an example of how to do that, right? Um, in fact, I need to change the date there. Boop, because you know, time changes, right? And then finally, once you've done all that, you're gonna head over to Slack and your assigned peer review uh, channel. And you're just gonna post a three to four sentence reflection where you talk about the questions that you have about your paper. Okay, um, so that is going to be really, really important um, because uh, without that context, your peers don't have a, an idea of how to help you. Okay, so that is what we are doing today in class, and that is what's for homework.